I can. Hi, thanks. Awesome. Great to see you. How are you this morning? Doing well. Yeah, how about you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Um, we're just going to have you start off with an opening statement about your team and, and where you guys think you can uh, expect to be this year. Yeah, so a little bit about our team. I think it's been a really unique season for everybody so far, um, but we have 10 freshmen and sophomores and of our, of our five upperclassmen returning, um, most of them have had a lot of game experience. So the things I know about the team so far is that our competitiveness, our athleticism and our length have really improved. And um, I leave practice, our practices have really improved. So the things that I've been able to evaluate, you know, we go against each other all the time, but I've been really pleased with that. Awesome, all right, first we're gonna go to Jeremy Guy. Jeremy, your microphone should be open. Hey coach, Jeremy from the Mac. Um, you mentioned, you know, two thirds of your team uh, essentially are freshmen and sophomores. What are some of the pros and cons of having such a young team? Um, you know, when I got here, we were, um, for lack of a better phrase, rebuilding. I mean, that was just sort of the place <clears throat> where we were. Um, and our freshman and sophomore class have, they're really exciting. I mean, we've been, since the minute we got here, recruiting has been a gigantic priority um, in our program and our staff. So, um, you know, they are, they are adding a lot to our program. They have a lot to learn, um, but the things they're bringing are things that our program really needed to elevate. Um, and so that, that part has been really fun. I feel like we have a good mix right now of experience. Kids who've played had a lot, logged a lot of minutes in the Mac, um, and then good young players who are really pushing the threshold and elevating um, the program. I think the steps that I've seen, I mean, right now we have seven freshmen. We have three sophomores of our sophomores. Um, Alyssa Brett last year was one of the top rebounding guards in the league and got a lot of minutes. So for me, it's less about your grade and probably more about your experience, what sort of experience you've had in the league so far. Um, but it's been, um, I know as a staff, it's been really, it's been really fun. And anytime we get on the court right now, it's even, you're even more grateful for um, being able to put your team together. Just a reminder, if you have a question for coach Freilich, please go ahead and use the raise hand feature on, on your side. Coach, I'll, I'll ask the next question. You, you mentioned how exciting it is to kind of get on the floor and, and build team chemistry with those new people. What, what have you found to be the best way to build that team chemistry in, in you know, this pandemic type of year? Yeah, well, the COVID has impacted everybody in the world in some way it has, has impacted everybody. So some of the things that we have rallied around, <clears throat> I think as a coach this year, um, you have to be adaptable. Um, you have to be creative because this is absolutely outside the tracks of any season that you've coached in the past. Um, and so the things we've done, we've just tried to continue to find ways to build our team, even with all of the protocol, um, whether that's Zoom calls or going on walks with our team, so we're still getting time with them, um, finding ways at the gym that we can, whether it's film or learning opportunities, um, we're just continuing to find ways to do things that um, we would normally do. We're just doing them in a little bit of a different way. So I think that that's been important. The other part we've talked a lot with our team about this year is <clears throat> we feel like when in this season, there's going to be three things that are really, really important. One is no excuses. Um, everybody is going to be impacted by this in some way or another as we continue to be. Two is adaptability. Um, and then three is be ready. You know, so often in our league, in college basketball, the teams that have been really dominant have maybe had one or two of the best players. And this year, you know, just with the way COVID works and contact tracing works, you know, we've really talked with our team about, you know, this is a year where it might be really evident who has the best team, right? Who has the best one through 15, because people are gonna be put in different positions and different kids who probably haven't played as much are gonna be put in roles on different nights. And so to, to be ready, to be ready for those opportunities, because I think um, I think that's going to be inevitable throughout the year, and I want our kids really excited about um, what that could look like for them. All right. Next, we're going to go to Brad Wasnicki. Brad, your microphone should be open. Hey, Robin, how you doing? Hey, Brad. Good. How are you? Uh, hey, hanging in there like everybody else. <laughs> 
Hey, I had a question. You, you mentioned talking about adaptability and you this year have had to deal with it, but even last year had to deal with it with a lot of players or three that I can remember that were dealing with injuries that you weren't able to get into your lineup, really weren't able to practice throughout the season. How much has it helped having those few players back from injury just to get that team chemistry going and really do what you want to throughout an entire practice? Uh, I'd say it's a game changer. Um, I mean, if you look at teams who've been really successful with sustained success, their, their players play, you know, their best players are playing night in and night out. Um, I mean, it, it makes a huge difference and, and it allows an ability to improve, you know, when you are out for an extended period of time or miss most practices, it's really hard to develop and it's really hard to get rhythm within a system. So um, that's been, that's been great. I've really, the, the time our team has had together on the court this year um, has been, I, I just feel like from my time here, it's been the best opportunity we've had developmentally. And the fact that they've all been guards, I'm sure, gives you a little more depth as well, which you're glad to have. Yeah, you know, our young kids, we, we've brought in a, a number of guards. We feel we um, we love them. I mean, we from the minute we got here, like I shared, our priority was recruiting. And um, I feel like we've known them forever. So we're just so glad to have them here. We feel really awesome about our 21 class, too. Same thing, something that we spent uh, poured a lot of time and effort into. And um, we the trajectory, we feel as a staff has been really motivating um, to see the improvements and to see, you know, when we got here, we needed, we needed to really up our guard play and we really needed to increase our athleticism. I mean, those are pretty obvious things that we felt like we got to take a big steps forward in this to be in this league, especially. Um, and we, we like that with our recruits that we feel like we're in the right direction with that. All right, next we're going to go to Jack. Jack, your microphone should be open. Good, <clears throat> excuse me, Coach. Good morning. I'm from the Sentinel Tribune here in Bowling Green. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good morning. Okay. Well, I'm old, and this is all new to me, so talking to someone on a computer. But um, were you surprised then that uh, three players who could have helped the team left uh, after last year? Or were you already thinking about that? And that's why you have so many freshmen. Um, I mean, some of that is tricky timing. I mean, you don't know that people are going to get injured or miss the whole season. I mean, so you're recruiting always, you know, when we got here, we were recruiting um, forward, you know, knowing those scholarships would be available. So some of that is unexpected kids who miss a season and then get a season later. Um, some of it too is just kids looking for a different opportunity. You know, when you come into a, to a new program, uh, sometimes I just call it a mismatch. It's not like one thing's right or wrong. It's just, it's a new staff and a new style of play. So I think all of those were factors. Okay. And, uh, you know, you mentioned your, um, young players, you have some very good seniors and one junior to help kind of mentor them, I guess especially, you know, the way Madison Parker can play and Perry can play. Uh, are, are they helping out the younger kids quite a bit? Yeah, it's been a great combination of, um, we just feel like we're at a place in our program where our upperclassmen model the behavior that we expect in our program. We finally feel like we're at a place where that is, is happening. So yeah, and, and I'm really proud of those kids, you know, Angela Perry, Madison Parker, uh, Katie Hempley have played a lot of minutes um, for us and in this league. And what's been what's been really rewarding as a coach is they have really developed. I feel like they've developed from their first year to their second year, and they've all taken a big step this off season, um, which has been which has been really motivating. Awesome, Coach. Well, we want to absolutely thank you for your time today, and uh, always stay safe. And and we can't wait to see you out there this year. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys.